Ready? We can easily just break the tomato by hands. Maybe cherry tomato could be the ideal tomato to be used for it. We've got nice chunk pieces. So we wanna just crush a garlic clove. We just wanna allow the garlic to release its natural flavor. So we're gonna Use some fresh basil, just rip it by hands. We're gonna keep it to the side and we're just gonna drop it in last minute. So alternatively, if we don't have a knife, we can grate the onions through a grater. Just by applying a little bit of pressure, up and down a few times. Okay, here we got our water simmering and we wanna make sure to have it boiling. So we're just gonna help that process by putting a pan on top just to, to use it instead of a lid to speed up the process. Now it's boiling and it's perfect. We really wanna have our water boiling before we drop the pasta inside it. Mm -hmm. Salt, we got about 10 grams to a liter of water. So that's just about the right amount that I got in my hands towards the amount of water that you can see right in. Then we grab our spaghetti, just about 80 grams, which is a good decent portion, straight into the water. As we do that, we gently want to move the spaghetti without breaking them. This is the time where the pasta releases the most amount of starch, so it's good to give it a stir, make sure it doesn't stick all together. As we do this, we move on to the sauce. A little bit of oil. Keep these on a low heat. Then we just enter the garlic into the pan to release all this nice flavor. Onions. And while this is gently cooking away, always making sure that the pasta is not sticking together, so we give it another toss. Once the onion is getting nice and golden, we add our tomatoes. Make sure we season them, a little bit of salt and pepper. Salt, a bit of pepper. And we're gonna allow cooking for another couple of minutes until the pasta is ready. So we just grab the pasta, break it with my fingers and then just taste it. The pasta should apply a little bit of resistance through our mouth when we go through with our teeth through it. We can get that little sole of the pasta that we can bite through it. That means the pasta is al dente and it's ready to be removed from the water. And we wanna keep it really, really al dente so we can finish it off into the pan so the pasta will finish cooking by absorbing all the nice juices of the sauce that we have created. We're ready to uh, drain our pasta and put it straight into the tomato sauce. This stage, we just want to let it cook for a couple of minutes so it does absorb all the nice juices from the tomatoes. You don't have to be this fancy, you can just mix it up with a spoon like I'm doing right now. We can also remove the garlic at this stage, all the flavor has come from it, so we can remove it. We keep cooking, cooking the pasta with the tomato for just a minute or two, making sure that the pasta doesn't overcook and it goes mushy and it breaks. We grab the basil, previously ripped. We just add it to the pasta. And at this stage, we can turn off the heat so that it stops cooking the pasta. I add a little bit of grated grana padano, parmesan. And 
and a little drizzle of olive oil. Now we just give it a little toss. And the pasta is ready to go. And we're just gonna move it from the pan onto a serving dish. From the pan. And it's ready.